Real quick, what's 1.5 times 3.5? If you type it up on your calculator, you'll get 5.25. But what I want to do is show you how to get the same result using a slide rule. Now what I've got up on the screen is my uh, Picket Model N600 ES log log speed rule uh, underneath my microscope. And what I thought I would show you are the parts of a, a slide rule and how to do a simple calculation. So over here we have the stock. That's the top and bottom parts of a slide rule. In the middle we have the slide. This is known as the cursor and the little line in the middle of the cursor is known as the hairline. Now along the side of a slide rule you'll see letters. Those are known as scales. And the two scales that I want you to be familiar with Oop, let's get this in the shot, are the C and the D scales. And you'll notice that the C and D scales are identical. There we go. Now, in order to get a calculation of 1.5 times 3.5, what we need to do is we need to move 1 on the C scale to 1.5 on the D scale. So one moment, the slide rule is going to get blurry for just a little bit. I'm going to move this right about there. All right. You can see where I've moved one on the C scale to nearly 1.5 on the D scale. Let's bump this over just a little bit. There we go. It's perfect. Now, Anytime we look at a number on the C scale, we will get that exact result of 1.5 times that number on the, on the D scale. So what is 1.5 times 2? Well, it's 3, and you'll see that that lines up perfectly. What's 1.5 times 3? Right there, it's 4.5. And then as I said at the beginning of this video, what is 1.5 times, um, what is 1.5 times 3.5? Well, you can see it's midway between these two lines. That's 5, 5.1, 5.2, and 5.3. So it's halfway between 5.2 and 5.3. We're going to say 5.25. And if you do this calculation on a calculator, that is the result that you will get. So this is how you multiply two numbers using a slide rule. Thank you.